Okay, you gotta see this, all right? A little bit of electrolysis background info right here for this Lenner project. So part of this Lenner sonoluminescence is we have to hydrogen load our colloid. So whether that's a nickel or palladium colloid, we need to get hydrogen into that metal lattice. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do what they call wet loading. So this is just electrolysis with platinized electrodes. Watch what happens at five volts. See those little bubbles? So on the black, which is the cathode, we've got hydrogen coming off of there. And then on the red, which is the anode, we've got oxygen. What we can do is we can vent the oxygen into its own little tortuous path, put that out the output, and then let the hydrogen circulate with the colloid. And that colloid will absorb, in the case of palladium, potentially up to 900 times its volume in hydrogen. And then that is the stuff that's going to get crushed in the sonoluminescence collapse. So that's where we get the hydrogen from, in case anybody was wondering. The last time I did electrolysis like this, anything close to it, was in high school. I was making these little hydrogen balloons, and you would do this. You'd get the gas, you'd put it into the balloon, you'd put a little string on the balloon, release the balloon into the air, and you know what to do next. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, right? Um, this is fun too, though. This is very, very fun, especially knowing that I'm going to get hydrogen into those little tiny, less than one micron nickel particles, let's say, or palladium particles. Very exciting stuff. This is going to be in a closed loop, so there's going to be continuously recirculating, continuously getting wet loaded, and continuously, hopefully, being crushed by that sonoluminescence. In case you're wondering about the electrolyte, we're using 0.1 molar lithium hydroxide. And at that voltage, that 5 volts, 140 milliamps, we're getting around a milliliter per minute of hydrogen output.